Welcome to our video on the eight foods that may influence blood clots. When it comes to our health, what we eat matters, especially for those concerned with blood clot risks. While it's crucial to understand that no single food outright causes blood clots, some can impact factors related to clotting. Today, we're counting down eight foods known for their potential influence on blood clot risks. Let's start the countdown and learn more about how these foods fit into a balanced diet. Kicking off our countdown at number eight, we've got cranberry juice, a favorite for many, not just because of its tangy taste, but also for its health perks. Most of us have heard about its superhero status in supporting urinary tract health. But here's a twist in the tale. Cranberry juice has a lesser known side when it comes to interacting with certain medications, particularly blood thinners like warfarin. Now, warfarin is a medication taken by many to prevent blood clots, and it's pretty effective at its job. However, Cranberry juice can throw a wrench in the works. How? Well, it's believed that cranberry juice can boost the effects of warfarin, making the blood even thinner than intended. This can sound a bit scary because it means there's a higher chance of bleeding, even from a small injury. You might be wondering, how often does this happen? Or should I stop drinking cranberry juice altogether? The truth is, the interaction isn't fully understood and evidence varies. Some studies suggest a significant interaction, while others find minimal to no effect. But caution is the name of the game here. If you're on warfarin, it doesn't mean you have to break up with cranberry juice for good. It just means being mindful of how much you're drinking and always keep your doctor in the loop about your diet and any concerns you might have. Landing at number seven on our list is the zesty grapefruit. This citrus fruit is not just a breakfast staple for many, but also a source of vitamins and antioxidants. However, there's a catch when it comes to grapefruit and certain medications, especially blood thinners. Grapefruit has a unique property. It can interfere with an enzyme in your body that helps break down medications. What does this mean for someone taking blood thinners? Essentially, grapefruit can cause the medication to hang around in your body longer than it's supposed to, increasing its effects. In the context of blood thinners, this could mean your blood becomes too thin, elevating the risk of bleeding from even minor cuts or injuries. Now, before you start side-eyeing your morning grapefruit, it's worth noting that not everyone will experience this interaction and not all medications are affected. But for those on certain blood thinners, the impact can be significant. This doesn't mean you have to give up grapefruit entirely, but moderation and consultation with your healthcare provider are key. In the grand scheme of things, Grapefruit can still be part of a healthy diet. The key is understanding how it interacts with your medication and managing your intake accordingly. Next up at number six, we have green tea, a beloved beverage known for its myriad of health benefits, from boosting mental alertness to reducing the risk of heart disease. It's practically a wellness icon, but there's a plot twist for those who are navigating the world of blood thinning medications. Green tea is rich in vitamin K, a nutrient that plays a starring role in blood clotting. Now, you might be wondering, isn't vitamin K good for you? Absolutely, it is. Vitamin K is crucial for maintaining healthy bones and wound healing because of its role in blood clotting. However, for individuals taking blood thinners like warfarin, the plot thickens, quite literally. These medications work by reducing the clotting ability of the blood, preventing harmful clots from forming. When you throw high amounts of vitamin K into the mix from sources like green tea, it can make the medication less effective, leading to a potential increase in clotting risk. But before you bid farewell to your green tea ritual, it's worth noting that moderation is key. You don't have to eliminate green tea from your diet completely. The goal is to maintain a consistent intake of vitamin K, allowing your healthcare provider to adjust your medication dosage accordingly. Stepping into the spotlight at number five is kale, the leafy green that has become synonymous with health and wellness. Dubbed a superfood, kale packs a nutritional punch. Loaded with vitamins, A, C, and notably, K. As we just discussed, vitamin K is the star when it comes to helping our blood clot naturally, an essential process for healing wounds. However, this same nutrient plays a pivotal role when it comes to the interaction with blood thinning medications like warfarin, so, for those navigating the balance of managing blood clot risks with medication, kale presents a bit of a conundrum. Like green tea, 
the high vitamin K content in kale can potentially compete with blood thinners, diminishing their effectiveness. However, kale can still have a place in your diet, even if you're taking blood thinners. The secret lies in maintaining a consistent amount of vitamin K in your diet and working closely with your healthcare provider to adjust your medication if needed. This way, you can continue to enjoy the vast health benefits of kale, from its antioxidant properties to its nutrient density, without compromising your medication's effectiveness. Landing at number four on our list is alcohol, a beverage that's often at the center of social gatherings and celebrations. While a glass of wine or a beer might be seen as a way to unwind, alcohol's effects on the body, especially concerning blood clotting, are worth a closer look. Alcohol has a bit of a Jekyll and Hyde personality when it comes to blood health. On one hand, moderate consumption has been linked to certain health benefits, such as a potential reduction in heart disease risk. On the other, alcohol's ability to thin the blood presents a double-edged sword. For individuals at risk of blood clots, or those already on blood thinning medications, alcohol adds another layer of complexity. Its blood thinning properties might sound like a good thing, but they can actually amplify the effects of blood thinning medications, increasing the risk of bleeding. This doesn't just apply to major injuries. Even minor bruises or cuts could become a concern due to the reduced ability of the blood to clot effectively. But what does moderate really mean? Typically, it's defined as up to one drink a day for women and up to two drinks a day for men. Yet, even within these limits, the impact on blood clotting and medication interaction can vary greatly from person to person. Swimming into the third spot on our list are foods teeming with omega-3 fatty acids, like the ever-popular salmon, along with flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts. Omega-3s are the darlings of the dietary world, celebrated for their heart health benefits, which include reducing inflammation and lowering the risk of heart disease. These fatty acids also have natural anticoagulant properties, meaning they can help make your blood less sticky and less prone to clotting. Now, here's where the waters get a bit murky. For most people, the blood thinning effect of omega-3s is a boon, contributing to a smoother, more free-flowing circulatory system. However, if you're already on blood thinning medication or have a condition that puts you at a higher risk for bleeding, adding a high dose of omega-3s into the mix might tip the scales too far, increasing the risk of bleeding. It's a bit like adding more water to a river that's already flowing rapidly. It can lead to overflow, or in this case, an increased risk of bleeding. This doesn't mean you need to dock the omega-3 rich foods altogether though. The key is moderation and balance. Including these foods in your diet can still be beneficial. It's just a matter of not going overboard, especially if you're navigating the complexities of blood thinning medications. Securing the second spot in our lineup is garlic, a staple ingredient in kitchens around the globe, celebrated not just for its bold flavor, but also for its impressive health benefits. Garlic is incredibly versatile and comes with a host of benefits, including its natural ability to act as an anticoagulant. This means garlic can help prevent blood clots by making the blood less likely to clump together, a feature that's fantastic for promoting a healthy heart and smooth flowing circulation. However, as with any good tool, knowing when and how to use it is key. For those who are on blood thinning medications, garlic's anticoagulant properties deserve a closer look. While preventing blood clots is generally a positive thing, garlic can amplify the effects of blood thinning medications, such as warfarin, potentially leading to an increased risk of bleeding. It's a bit like turning up the volume on your stereo. A little bit louder might be fine, but crank it too high and you risk blowing out the speakers, or in this case, increasing the risk of bleeding. This doesn't mean you need to clear garlic out of your pantry entirely. Like many things in life, moderation is crucial. For most people, using garlic in cooking won't cause an issue, but if you're taking medication to thin your blood or have a condition that puts you at a higher risk for bleeding, you might need to be a bit more cautious about how much garlic you consume, especially in supplement form, which can contain a higher concentration of active compounds. So, if you're concerned about blood clotting or are on blood thinning medication, it doesn't hurt to have a conversation with your healthcare provider about how much garlic is right for you. That way, you can continue to enjoy the benefits of garlic without worrying about its impact on your medication or health. Taking the crown at number one, we have leafy green vegetables. 
Think spinach, kale, and Swiss chard. These greens are not just a feast for the eyes with their vibrant colors, but are also loaded with vitamin K, the body's natural band-aid, helping to patch up wounds by clotting blood. For those on blood thinners like warfarin, suddenly increasing or decreasing your intake of leafy greens can disrupt the balance, making the medication either too strong or not strong enough. It's a bit like trying to maintain a steady speed in a car. If you suddenly hit the gas or brake, you'll disrupt the smooth ride. The secret sauce to incorporating these vitamin K-rich veggies into your diet safely is consistency. Always consult with your healthcare provider to tailor dietary choices to your health needs. And there you have it, eight foods that may influence blood clots. Understanding how these eight foods interact with your body's clotting process is key, especially for those managing blood clot risks or on medication. If you found this video insightful and you're keen on navigating your diet with health in mind, why not give us a thumbs up? Your support encourages us to keep demystifying the complex relationship between food and health. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest health tips and videos. Have any thoughts or experiences with these foods? Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you're feeling generous, consider using the Super Thanks feature to show your extra appreciation. It helps us to continue bringing valuable content your way. Until next time, stay balanced, stay informed, and here's to your health.